Are you with or have you ever been with someone who loves you one minute and ignores you the next? This kind of behavior might make you second guess yourself and question where you stand in your relationship. Does he really like you or is he just using you? Does he want to build something together or is he just passing the time? Does he have someone else? You may have asked yourself if you're just his toy when he wants to play. You ask yourself these types of questions when you're dealing with none other than a hot and cold guy. Now in this video we tell you exactly what you can do if you find yourself dealing with a hot and cold guy. It's hard to trust in a new relationship especially when his attentions are so inconsistent. I know hot and cold behavior from a guy can be frustrating for you but there's an easy fix. So let's uncover the reason why he's been so hot and cold and trust me we don't need to dig too deep to find it. Our most important tip is probably tip number four, so make sure you watch until the end and if you're new, why not consider subscribing? Every week we upload dating tips and tricks and how to improve your dating life. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. But let's get started, four big tips coming your way. Number one, first things first. The first thing I want you to realize is that it isn't all right for your man to give you the hot and cold deal for no reason. If he continues to do it, one reason is because you're allowing him to do so. If you do not ask him what the deal is and just accept his excuses, pretending everything is fine and dandy, he will continue to be hot and cold. I understand you may not want to scare him away by calling him on his aloofness, but your feelings are important too. If he is genuinely warming up to you one day and blowing you off for an extended period of time over and over, you must say something to him about this behavior. You're not asking for some long-term commitment, but you do deserve an explanation and you do need to tell him that it isn't what you want. Number two, tell him what you want. Be clear about what you want. Tell him that you're not interested in dating a guy that's hot and cold. Tell him that his actions or lack of actions confuse you. Tell him that you're going to take some time to assess things before going any further. This gives him time to decide if he wants to pursue you or not. In order to get him to step up his game and be more consistent, it's your job to define how you would like the relationship to change. Be specific and ask for what you want. Do you want flowers, for instance? Do you want to go on romantic dates? Do you want late night phone calls? Maybe you want to try out an exclusive arrangement so that you can build trust in order to get to know each other better. Let him know what kind of attention and commitment you're looking for and then show him through smiles and thank yous that his efforts and gestures are well received. Now, some of you may be asking yourself, but what if he freaks out? Let me tell you what I know about the men in the dating scene who come on strong. If you ask for what you want, a greater commitment for example, and he runs for the hills, it's a sign that he's not ready for a relationship. He talked the I love you talk, but in reality he was only comfortable being with somebody who was unavailable and unattainable. This type of guy loves the chase more than the actual object of his affection. If he freaks out, it's not because you did something wrong, it's because you gave him the opportunity to step up and that revealed that he's not the right guy for you. If he's not into you, he will not come around and that's fine. That's good information for him and for you. If he really does like you and can see himself getting more serious, he will change his behavior and begin making more time for you. If not, at least you know and will be able to move on to other options. Number three, respect yourself. There are power dynamics at play in every type of relationship. So it should come as no surprise that there will be a power dynamic in your romantic relationship as well. In some partnerships, there is an equal amount of power and respect. And in others, one partner holds most of the power. To make things even more complicated, the power can shift at different points in your relationship. Maybe in the beginning, you two never thought of power and respect because it felt equally distributed. But it's normal for the power dynamic to shift in a relationship. Many things could have made the partnership structure change. But once it is swayed into a new direction, one that you may not love, how do you get on equal footing? If your man has gotten a little too Kanye West on you, how do you gain more power and respect in the relationship? How do you turn this ship around and sail towards a more peaceful and happy sea? Now, 
One huge thing to remember is that guys won't respect you if you don't respect yourself. This starts at appearance, from how you treat yourself to how you treat others. If you don't respect yourself, then who else will? It starts with yourself. You have to show how you want to be treated. This will definitely come through with how you treat yourself. How do you talk about yourself? Do you give yourself any power? How do you view yourself? Take a moment to truly think about how you respect yourself. Remember, confidence is contagious and if you're a respectful person, people in general pick up on something like this and offer you respect in return. Also, being independent will win you a lot of points in the respect department. Being strong and independent doesn't mean you don't need your partner in any way. It just shows that you are capable of doing things on your own as a powerful individual. Being able to be self-sufficient while in a relationship is crucial. Your partner will always admire you for this autonomy and so will you, which is most important. Now, as far as a potential mate is concerned, you'll need to set up boundaries and it's vital that you stick to them. Everyone has their own set of rules and boundaries that they are comfortable with. You deserve to have what you want in a relationship as long as you're bold enough to seek it out. And if the guy isn't on the same page, let him know. There are some things that will cross the line for you and you need to be able to draw that line firmly. If he doesn't step it up, let him go. Some guys will continue to be hot and cold because women give them permission. Remember, a man can only get away with what you allow and sometimes they just need a big dose of honesty from a woman to open their eyes to how their behavior affects others. The man you want will be understanding about your wants and he'll be able to relate and switch some things around to fit the both of you. The man you don't need won't change his behavior much or at all and this is a good signal for you to be more and more selfish with your time. Making things that add value to your life more of a priority. He will notice this, take you more seriously and straighten up. But if he doesn't, it's time to move on. Number four, evaluate your own actions. Sometimes when a man is hot and cold, it's because women can be overbearing and controlling. A man may love to spend time with you, but as soon as he leaves, you may begin texting and calling him, asking him when you can see him again. Day after day, as he goes about his life, he feels pressure to spend time with you. He may turn cold and keep to himself for a while. He also remembers what a great time he had with you, so eventually he lets you know that he'd like to see you again. You spend some more wonderful time together and the same things occur. You pressure him for time. Now, don't get me wrong, you deserve time with your guy, but remember that guys spend a lot of time working and require downtime just for themselves. They don't always want to spend as much time with you as you do with them. A balance must occur and you can accomplish this by having a heart to heart with your man. You may just have to bluntly tell your man what you want from him in regard to time. Tell him you'd love Saturday evenings with him for a wonderful date night. Make plans once every couple of months for a weekend getaway. Tell him what you want and see if he's willing to oblige. If he isn't, you may have to reconsider whether you want to continue the relationship. Some men simply aren't ready to be as committed as women are to the relationship. If your guy is hot and cold, confront him and see what he has to offer. From there, determine your next step. Remember to respect yourself enough to be truthful. You will discover how to be the kind of woman whose man is faithful, loyal, romantic and just plain crazy about you. Thank you guys for watching our content. As always, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be the first to know when we release our videos.